Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left-hand corner, we have Machine starting as the Grey Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, we have React starting as the Yellow Protoss. This is going to be part of BSL Season 14 Hostel League Round of 16 Group C. Second game of the winner's match. And Machine down 1-0. We'll see if he can come back. This is a big macro-oriented map. Good night, if you guys are unawares. And I feel like this is sometimes... More Zerg favored. Although there are occasions where Zerg will take this mineral expansion and Protoss sometimes when they have an opportunity will just uh, sit on this lower ramp, drop Psystorm, Storm and force the opponent into them. Although it's a little bit more, I feel like that's a little bit more of an issue here at this location where Protoss is a little bit more of a threat from this right edge. From this right edge, you can see there's a little bit more distance. I feel like it's a different issue altogether. Anyway. Machine moving Overlord Scout, bottom left hand corner. We have React setting up with a pylon. I assume he's going to go Forge first here. Didn't send out... We'll see if he sends out the double probe. So sometimes what players will do versus Zerg is, is they'll send out additional probes just to try to confirm their opponent's build order in order to sneak. But never mind, he's going to go Gateway first. And let's see if this probe can catch this Overlord. Oftentimes, if they peek in, that that's a... Does he see it? Does not see it. So oftentimes you'll see them jut in a little bit just to go ahead and confirm that Overlord scouting pattern, but he is going to get first scout regardless, which means this Zealot is going to have opportunity to know where to go. It looks like there is an 11 hatch opposite side from Machine. And he is already sending out a drone, so this I assume this is a scouting drone. Let's see if he ends around. He does not change direction. Overlord confirms location. Let's see if this drone pulls back or if it's going to go ahead and, and dive in. Spawning pool just dropping. This is a larger map, so keep in mind it's going to be a while before that Zealot can march its way up to that upper left-hand corner, which is why I was a little surprised to see Gateway first here. But I believe, with the, if I recall, the timing of all this is the spawning pool is the Zealot can get up into the natural expansion as Zerglings are potentially finishing. Never mind, there's the first Zealot moving out. Drone trying to blockade, doing a great job actually of getting in the way, creating some timing, and now we'll we'll see how accurate I am. So yeah, Spawning Pool will finish, Zerglings will be produced, I think it's like halfway. This is just like caster knowledge, trying to work with this. The Zealot, however, has been really bogged down. So yeah, there's the Zerglings. Now working on that drone, finally. Already another drone in position to grab that third. So machine looking a lot stronger this time. Has that natural expansion up, has the Zerglings, yeah. So the Zealot just now in the natural expansion. The Zerglings are just spawning. And the Zealot, mm, probably not long for life. Especially because that's a lot of Zerglings. Maybe that, I don't know. Another Zealot marching its way up. This Zealot getting surrounded by four. There's not quite a gap. That there is on other maps. This Zealot able to sneak through, though. Probe has done damages on the hunt. Wants to get a drone kill. Not able to do so. Able to get some disruption. Able to get one drone kill. However, decent defense there by machine. Only loses a single drone out of all of that. Natural expansion cannon. Wall. And Nexus up in the meantime, Machine wandering that Overlord forward to just confirm everything. No assimilator as of yet for React. Zerglings gonna wander their way down, to potentially to go ahead and blockade the front. And this is an opportunity. Sometimes what you'll see out of this is when that information has been denied, when additional Zealots haven't wandered out in the field. This is one of those maps where 973 could be possible, but that probe getting pushed out. Machine looking for... Potential entry loses a Zergling for his efforts, but might have been able to punch through and take out that cannon. But right now, we've got seven drones at the natural expansion. And we do see that Hydral Stunt being produced. So yeah, I think we're going to see that 973 build. And now it's going to be up to React to react properly to deal with it. He currently has no eyes, no information. Maybe if he can push one of these zealots out to get confirmation. A couple drones being ferried across to get the... actually gonna be 
974. Range being upgraded rather than speed, so this is going to be, it looks like more of a, I think, so usually I believe it's speed first when you're seeing the pure 973, so I think this is more of a, I'm going for Hydro's Contain or maybe a Threat Bust. Five Zealots are here, marching forward. The Zerglin's going to get pushed back, maybe also because of the earlier Zealot presence in larger numbers. Machine opting to go for range first, rather than going for a bust scenario because there's sufficient defense to go ahead and deal with it. Usually it's more of a, I mean, technically it's something you're opting against more at a forge first. But anyway, the Zealots pressing forward. Some Hydrosks and Zerglings now making their way out. Overlord confirming that Stargate behind all of this. No movement towards Lair. Range is finished. We'll see if speed upgrades immediately after. Looks like it is just going to be... Did I miss speed upgrade? I don't think I did. So the Hydra is kind of just crawling their way across. I'm wondering if Machine just forgot about it. No, okay, there's speed. Looking to engage on the front. The Zelts need to engage this army and pick them off. And keep in mind, these Hydros without speed are going to have a much harder time dealing with these Zelts. So the herd being thinned, now grouping up. Able to push a lot of them off the front. This is also giving React time to go ahead and plop that cannon wall down. One additional problem with this in the fourth hatchery already on the way for machine. One problem with this is it's a little harder at this distance. One cannon picked off. Nice pick off there of a machine. But again, running into the Zelts without speed loses a Hydralisk or two or three. Probe actually wants to get on the attack as well. So, so getting nice exchange. A Corsair making its way across. Is it going to kick in and, and save these Hydralisks lives? Maybe. Additional hatcheries being placed, so this is kind of a lap over to five hatchery in a Sim City. So five hatch Hydra. Plus one weapons being upgraded. Three overlords potentially misrallied, so these Hydralisks are going to need to get back down here to help on defense. That's putting Machine in the red. Yeah, and he needs to march back down. Fortunately, he has sufficient Hydralisks to make that happen, but loses... So potentially on a miss rally. Yeah, I think he intended to rally his Hydralisks there. So React getting some bonus. Machine supply capped. But the Zealots have been cleaned up, and that's going to force more cannons on React's front door. And another potential contain situation for Machine. Halfway to Lair. More Hydralisks grouping up. And now it's going to be the race between the robotics facility. Never mind, Temple Archives, Zelt Lake Speed, plus one weapons. I'm surprised he let plus one weapons finish when he's only got two Corsair in the field. And it's going up against Five Hatch Hydra otherwise, although Hydralisk's not back at home base. So the Corsair going to be able to at least confirm information, sees that layer being upgraded. Probes in a defensive slot, additional Hydralisk's being picked up on the front. Looks like that forge is going to be taken out. Four gateways producing behind this a wall of cannons. Corsair is able to get additional kills, so that's two Overlord kills again, continuing to keep Machine in the red, halting his economy, and he still isn't dedicating Hydralis to deal with this. It looks like more Hydralis being built. Man, that sounds like a siege tank. I need to have it off screen like that, at least like the last bit of it. Another Overlord getting picked off, so React getting some nice value out of just a small amount of Corsairs. Machine now grabbing that mineral only. But he has forced out a lot of cannons from React. React does not have plus one weapons. He's going to need a robotics facility before he's going to feel safe moving out. Spire being dropped. He's expecting lurkers before Spire, but instead Machine going to go ahead and plop a Spire down. React supply capping himself as well. Does have some high Templar filtering in. And is working on Psy Storm. Zealots and Corsairs marching across. Looks like they want to go ahead and engage their two sunk colonies here. He did get some decent supply cap, but this is a control group and a half of Hydralisks. 
eventually engage these zealots. And they don't have plus one weapons. So they're scattering everywhere, still marching in. Now engaging Hyvos on the ramp. Corsair is still going for Overlord kills overhead. I feel like this is a bit of a misstep on React's part. So the Zealot's able to get in there, getting a sole drone kill. Wiped out otherwise. And this Corsair, well, I assume is just going to be a mop-up operation. But at least it's going to spot that Spire. And the additional expansion. So Machine with a very strong economy. Not much of an army for React. He's able to get a good amount of Overlord kills, but not a lot else. He needs to get a move on to get more Corsair or more cannons on his front or some sort of defensive cannons over these gateways because Machine looks like he wants to go ahead and do a quick tech swap to Mutalisks. And it doesn't look like there's sufficient anti-air for React to deal with this. These High Templar are going to be very exposed as well as the main, the natural expansion in all of these gateways. So this tech switch could be the thing that seals the match for a machine. Lurker's also upgrading behind it. Zealots wandering out. At the very least, they're going to be able to... Well, I think mostly identifying themselves as big targets. Mutalists wandering out, looking for the High Templar behind this. Ooh. Mutalist eating a lot of that Sidestorm, however. Hydralist now bunching in. Great Sidestorm before dying on that wall. However, it's not enough. React going to lose a lot of his army. At the very least, he softened up those Mutalists, so they weren't going to be able to wreak additional havoc, however. And Machine now with the Supply Lead, which is never a good sign for Protoss. Transport being upgraded. Lurker aspect just about finished not much of an army on the front for react he does have a lot of gateways to go ahead and fill things in behind this just now getting his observatory up double forge rolling plus one weapons is online but this is versus the plus one weapons it's already in place for a machine he's already halfway to plus two weapons second evolution chamber dropping as well three three very comfortable gas and four very comfortable bases in machine's hands machine realizing he's in strong control of this match Sitting in defensive posture, just fanning out, making sure a ninja expansion wasn't grabbed at any location. React is in fact boxed into two bases. Just barely getting some additional supply, dropping two additional gateways, realizing he's got to build a big army to punch through what's left. But Machine, doing a great job of macroing behind this. Starting to saturate absolutely everything, and I'm kind of curious to see what kind of drop we're going to see out of this. Troops shooting the gap. Now finding the troops to the north. The Observer making its way to the south. Sidestorm cleaning up the additional mutilists, so I don't think they're going to be much of a threat to the High Templar anymore. The machine scattering. Returning React now with the supply lead. Looks like he is going to be able to go ahead and establish potentially establish his third base with all these High Templar and Dragoons on the high ground, but moving out now. Don't see a lot of Lurkers down for Machine as of yet. Machine grabbing the expansion in the upper right. Here's that drop that we're looking for. Lurkers are going to be able to drop in this line. Ooh. Eliminating the probes. Not able to save the Lurker, but able to scoot out otherwise. React pressing forward. Finding a bunch of Hydralis for his effort, retreating to the high ground. He's working on getting that third up and running, but now is down to 39 workers. Re-engaging. Great side storm. Another beautiful side storm for React. React is looking beautiful. In this matchup, these side storms have just decimated Machine's ability to counter this army. More beautiful side storms. Just hunting Hydralisks now. Machine in the red, losing Overlords overhead. And React, honestly, he doesn't even need to attack. He can go ahead and back out out of this. This is a big Sim City to the north here. He can go ahead and... Looks like he's going to press out towards the natural expansion. Does have Observers to spare. Does he have Psystorm to spare? To go up to the high ground. 
able to kill one lurker right there. Fending out additional High Templar. And now going for it. Marching forward, loses one Observer. Two Observers alongside. The Zealots mostly getting cleared out by those Lurkers, but there's still plenty of Zealots left. And now Machine, after some fantastic Psy Storms from React in the mid-game, losing all of his Hydralisks, he's going to have a difficult defense at his natural expansion as he was teching to Hive. Hydralisks eating Psy Storm and engaging an Archon behind this. Machine coming from all angles, trying to defend this. Reinforcements coming at an odd angle for React, unfortunately, walking into the mineral only. Still might be able to, this might be as, uh, with some benefit. There is a lurker defense here. It's a little bit unfortunate for React. Let's see if he actually might be able to turn around and get a size from right there. So a bit of bad luck, but this does mean he's got that third base without too much trouble. He might be able to just move this high Templar down and size storm this drone line is he gonna opt to do so though there he goes that's what i'm waiting for five instant kills and some additional drones getting wiped out machine now down a lot of supply might end up losing this mineral only and it's not stopped react's additional bases Let's see if react saturates this react with an actual worker lead not sure if there looks like that corsair was able to kill that overlord that was going for the continuous drops over that natural expansion Machine does have four bases up and running still. He, except this upper right-hand base is not yet saturated, and he has a sizable army at his natural. Hive is here. I don't see a Defiler Mound anywhere. Maybe he can get uh, Adrenal Upgrades or something to try to assist with this defense, but right now, React, plus two uplands, plus two armor. Upgrade advantage, pushing through again has control of the plateau outside of Machine's natural expansion, which is a scary location. Also, one Zealot comes to the 6 o'clock location. React can go ahead and grab a fourth base. Might need to. His main is mined out. His natural expansion looking somewhat thin. React exiting that natural expansion. Machine, actually, if he can shell up, might end up winning this. Just because React running somewhat low on resources. Nidus Canal, additional hatchery in the upper right. React... A little bit indecisive as what he wants to do with his army right here. Hydralis is going to be able to go ahead and punish that cannon to prevent the 6 o'clock location from going up. And Machine starting to re-establish that army. 41 drones to 50 workers. To answer Optimator in chat, I will choose Indigo. Asking me to pick a color there. Distraction for the YouTubers. But React now moving into that natural expansion. Plenty of side storm to threaten any reinforcements coming from another angle, and he can just go ahead and wipe out this hatchery on the front, take down the Sim City, and maybe win the game right here. Hydralis pressing down. They want to go ahead and attack. There's a lot of cannons. Defending the third, I don't think that's going to draw React back. This could turn into a base trade situation. And in a base trade situation, I think... Well, maybe React will win. We'll see how it pans out. Hyvalis Zerglings trying to move across. Reinforcements marching their way. Going to pin these troops from behind. React, now that he's taken out that natural expansion... Well, a lot of the troops in natural expansion is actually drawing a lot of these troops back. Machine actually accidentally loading up a Hydralisk, it looks like. But React can, now that that attack is stalled, just turn right back around. Desperation Lurker at the natural expansion to try to blockade. Oop, accidentally size storming a couple of his troops. React now marching into Machine's main. Unopposed, near double the supply. Hydralis Den's going to get wiped out. Drone's trying to flee. Maybe he can rebuild. Looks like he's quickly trying to rebuild what he can in the upper right-hand corner. Machine's not out of this yet. React's natural expansion's light. He's on one mining base. React still needs to take an additional base. So Machine's still running on two bases. But it is not looking pretty. React with a huge supply lead. Hive looks like it's going to get taken out. 
and it looks like all Machine was able to salvage with the minerals on hand was his spawning pool. Trying to grab that natural expansion. Not sure how long he's going to be able to hold it, however. Dropping, uh, looks like a Hydralisk. React now grabbing a 6 o'clock. He can honestly double expand behind this. And Machine does have three bases instantly re-grabbed. But it's going to be a, a challenging defense. Psystorm has been on point for React all game. Just sending out blue shockwaves and marching up. Going to be able to shut down this natural expansion. I think that's the first whiff I've seen. And honestly, it was a nice anticipation shot. It's just the Hydralists weren't cooperating. There's GG for Machine. And Machine moves to the final match in a surprise victory for React over Machine, in my opinion. So React advances. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.